And welcome back, everyone, to this week's edition of Off the Wire, where we bring you the top five stories that have happened in the past week. Today's date, March 12, 2014. So let's dive right into what's been going on. Keep battle info nice and up to date. The first story here: there are reports that Bill Jack joined the New York Knicks brass, looking like he will take a front office position. Obviously going to collect quite the hefty paycheck and possibly a little bit of minority or own ownership. This is not in stone, but the gears are a churning and the things are looking like they're getting in place. So Phil Jackson obviously bringing a big name to the Big Apple and taking a big a bit of pressure off owner James Dolan, who's come under a tremendous amount of heat recently for the Knicks' failures, especially considering how much money they're paying those players, Bargnani, Amari, Carmelo. Uh, so let's see if this is enough to keep Carmelo Anthony in town, if this is true. Our next article here off ESPN.com, Anthony Bennett's two weeks. Unfortunately, the young Canadian star drafted number one overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers will be out at least three weeks with an injury. And it looks like he's going to have another little setback. This has been a tough first year. Now, it's not exactly like you can call this guy a bust at all. I think he has a tremendous amount of talent, as we saw just before this injury, he was really coming into his own, having a nice shooting stroke, learning how to play within the NBA game. And unfortunately, it's going to take a little bit longer for this guy's career to really take off. Hopefully, he lays off the fattening foods and stays in shape. Because I remember after his last shoulder injury coming out of college, one of his big issues was dropping that weight. So hopefully, Anthony uh, takes heed to that and stays in shape. Third article here com Steve Kerr. So he will be theoretically then able to fall if Phil Jackson takes that role in New York with the New York Knicks box. Steve Kerr could be in line for the head coaching position. Steve Kerr, coming from the TNE analyst world, very intelligent guy, former player, so would fall in the footsteps of Mark Jackson with the Warriors, Jeff Hornacek with the Phoenix Suns, and with, which is kind of ironic because that little picture is in the background there. But we'll see if Steve Kerr um, can make splashes. I think a good pickup for the New York Knicks. Hopefully he's not too much of a quiet character for that environment. But him and Phil Jackson can't help but make some positive plays. Interesting one here, P.J. Tucker. Uh, P.J. Tucker and Blake Griffin kind of going to scraps here. Uh, you can see they're going for a rebound, falling on each other, and P.J. Tucker late lays out an elbow punch to Blake Griffin, who is not too happy to have been on the receiving end of that one. Uh, so P.J. Tucker, um, uh, don't read lips, kids. P.J. Tucker is suspended one game for this, and this is another example of how people are really just trying to get under the skin of all-star Blake Griffin, the realizing talent alone can't stop um, the man from Lob City, so we'll try to use old hockey tactics and get under his skin. The fifth and final article here, unfortunately for Laker and Kobe fans, is Lake, uh, Kobe Bryant will be held out the rest of the season, looks like. I mean, it could, could come back, but I think this is a smart move on both camps. If you're going to sign the aging superstar to a two-year extension worth $24 million per year, an exorbitant amount of money, you want to make sure he's healthy and ready to produce. And looking at the roster this year, they're in no place to contend. So even if he was fully healthy, I don't even think they'd have a shot. So you may as well... Let them rest up, let your young players play, get some nice uh, experience, and get a nice top-round pick. I think next year, if we can look at a team of Kobe Bryant, maybe Augustol on a reduced deal, a high-price free agent, and a top draft pick out of this very loaded draft, I think we could be seeing a very motivated Kobe Bryant with a much more talent, um, and that team potentially could uh, make some splashes. So that has been the top five articles of this week, um, March 12, 2014. Hope you guys liked it, and as always, catch all the stuff here on hoopslounge.com where we have articles, videos, podcasts, and everything in between. And always remember to stay connected to us via social media. That's where we live, and you can always hit us up. And if you always want to reach any of us in particular, feel very free to go to the contributors page, and right there you can catch any of our uh, Facebook pages um, contacts, Twitter contacts, or more. So if you want to give us an idea for an upcoming show, uh, you have different ideas about what we said, we'd love to hear from you because we want to keep this basketball conversation going. So thank you for another episode here, and thanks for joining, and we'll catch you guys next time off the wire.